what's going on YouTube it's your boy dollar Mike back at again with another video in today's video it should be a pretty quick one I'm not entirely sure but I want to talk to you guys about this again because I don't think this concept just gets into enough people's minds so we're going to talk about it again today and that is 100 dividend investing we're going to talk all about dividend investing in this video today because i personally think it's an extremely important topic it's a way for you to invest passively it's a way for you to get in investing as a beginner and i haven't really made a video talking solely about dividend investing and what it is what it does what it can do for you in some time now so here's my update video for 2021 we're going to talk all about dividend investing in this video let's get right into the video let's go before we jump into all the golden knowledge as always i would greatly appreciate it if you guys could drop a like on the video that basically pushes the video out to more people so more people can see it and find stuff like this and go and invest themselves aka just helping everybody in general if you like content like this also make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you know the next time i upload a video and lastly check out my links down below they'll get you tons of different free stocks whether that's with weeble public wherever anything like that it'll get you tons of free stocks with the links down below and you'll also get free other stuff as well like free crypto things like that all good to go there but let's not waste any more of your time because i don't really do that let's go so the best way to start is obviously a definition and what exactly are dividends a dividend is a distribution of profits by a corporation to its shareholders so when you go and invest in stocks on the stock market those companies that you invest your money in actually go and make profits themselves so a dividend from any particular stock or company is simply the profits that the company is making just a little bit piece of that paid to you every single month maybe every single quarter so every single three months possibly once or twice a year it's completely up to that company also these stocks or companies pay out different amounts of money every single year and that's also known as the dividend yield i don't know about you but i'm a visual learner so let's actually go and use a stock for an example and the stock we're going to use for this example is walgreens if we go on over to any investment platform of our choice then we can go and find this stock walgreens ticker symbol w b a either way if we scroll down a little bit i'm using robin hood in this example but you can use any investment platform you want to use if we scroll down a little bit we can see the stats and we can also see down in the bottom right corner we can say we can see div slash yield or dividend yield currently it says that number is 3.27 and this number is a percentage that is the percentage that walgreens is going to pay you every single year depending on how much you actually have invested in walgreens so the way it works is every 100 dollars you have invested in walgreens you're going to make 3.27 percent on your money every single year so if you buy 100 dollars worth of walgreens and only buy 100 dollars worth of walgreens throughout the entire year of 2021 then they would pay you three dollars and 27 cents for the entire year and you may say mike three dollars and 27 cents for me owning a hundred shit hundred dollars worth of a stock you might say well it's not that much and you're you're right it's not that much money but that's why you continuously invest in this stock or any other stock that's why you diversify your portfolio so you can get other stocks that pay you dividends and you also have drip turned on which will basically just compound your money and we'll talk about all that later on in this video or we could just talk about it right now so as you can see walgreens is sitting at 55.61 a share right now so that means one share of walgreens costs you roughly 55 dollars and 61 cents this could change every day as it does usually change every day because that's what the stock market kind of does the prices fluctuate depending on who's buying and selling regardless not really here for that we're here for my position on walgreens currently i have about 16 shares of walgreens overall i have about 891 dollars invested in walgreens and i have about a 34 percent return if we actually scroll down the process of finding this could be slightly different depending on which app you're using but nonetheless the information is there for you especially if you're invested in these particular stocks if we go and look at my history on walgreens you can see i bought a whole bunch of stuff but we're really here for the dividends so my most recent dividend was actually paid to me on march 12th of 2021 and that was for seven dollars and two cents when you have the drip feature turned on drip it stands for dividend reinvestment plan when you have that turned on from that point on every single dividend that you receive from a particular stock that you have drip turned on with will go back into the stock and buy you more stock which in turn makes you more money because that's the more shares you hold that's the more money you have in the particular stock and overall this will keep compounding on top of each other every time you get a dividend and it just simply grows let's go to another stock and i can show you exactly what i mean in even greater detail let's go ahead and type in psec p-e-s-c and it is prospect capital you can see currently i have 115 shares and you can also see i have a dividend coming to me this is a monthly paid dividend stock by the way i have a dividend coming to me on april 22nd 2021 for six dollars and ninety cents and you may say mike okay so what six dollars and ninety cents that's not going to make me a millionaire anytime soon it's not going to make me a lot of money in passive income anyway that's enough basically for me to go and get a meal at chick-fil-a which 
to be fair, is fair enough for me personally. But regardless of that, you have to look at the bigger picture. If we scroll up a little bit, we can see Prospect Capital or PSEC is sitting at $7.95 a share right now, and they're paying me a dividend on April 22nd of $6.90. So that basically means that roughly every single month, I'm getting almost a whole share of Prospect Capital. That whole share would then go back into Prospect Capital, give me more shares of Prospect Capital, which in turn would give me more money in dividend, which in turn would give me more money in Prospect Capital, in turn, more dividend. Repeat that process basically 12 times a year how many shares you have in the process to keep multiplying your money keeps compounding it can really only go up and that's that's how dividend investing basically works now i also brought up prospect capital for a particular reason if we scroll down and see the dividend yield on prospect capital we can see it's way more than what walgreens was at 3.27 percent this one's actually sitting at 9.17 percent so every 100 dollars i invest into prospect capital they're going to give me nine dollars and 17 cents for every 100 dollars i have invested simple enough Cool stuff there but that's the main thing all dividends aren't created equal all stocks aren't created equal and you shouldn't go and invest in dividend stocks just because they have a high yield or a high payout every single month or every single quarter and that reason is pretty simple and i'm going to explain it to you right now let's just say someone owes you some money let's say they owe you 120 dollars and they told you they would pay you back that 120 dollars over the course of a single year would you rather them pay you back once every single month knowing exactly how much you should get every single month knowing the exact date of how much you should get every single month every single month basically ten dollars every single month will equal up to $120 over the course of the year or would you rather them have maybe one day they pay you four dollars maybe four months they might pay you fifty dollars maybe a month and a half after that who knows maybe a couple weeks they might pay you another three bucks which one would you rather have the consistency and the longevity of that payment or would you rather have the sporadic payment where they're paying you back randomly you don't know and you might not even get all your money back by the end of the year but you might get it i don't know maybe you will maybe you won't who knows which one would you rather have the answer should be the simplest one the first option where it's consistent it's over time it's every single month you know when it's going to happen you can plan for it it's exactly consistent passive income i bring all that up to get my point across you should go after stocks that are great companies you should go after stocks that offer decent amount of growth and also maybe a dividend if they do that that's cool as well and you should also go after a consistent dividend and a dividend that's just steadily growing and some stocks like that exist on the market and some stocks on there are simply on the market to promise you a high dividend and basically never pay it so if you see a stock offering you a dividend yield that's higher than i would say 15 percent you definitely need to go and check out that company and make sure it's a solid company because at the end of the day dividends aren't going to pay you that much money and if you go and put a thousand dollars into a high dividend crap stock and the stock price goes down you're going to lose way more money than you would ever have made in those dividends in any given amount of time so basically what you want out of a dividend stock is the same thing a lot of people want out of life and that is growth and consistency and great dividend stocks that actually do offer growth and consistency we have terms for those and those terms are dividend aristocrat stocks and dividend king stocks a dividend aristocrat stock pays a consistent increasing dividend for 25 years consistently would you like to be invested in a stock that pays you consistently for 25 years straight and the dividend payout is only going up it would make a lot of sense to be invested in a stock like that especially if you like the company because the growth will go up as well so natural growth of the stock natural growth of the dividend and you're getting paid consistently i think that's a win 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 don't you think i personally do and those stocks do exist the dividend king works the same exact way except they're doing it for 50 years instead of 25 so 50 straight years of growth and consistency how do you really argue with that I'm just gonna name a couple of stocks that are dividend aristocrats as well as dividend kings right off of Google because this information is 100% public. Why would it not be? Either way, we got AT&T, Walgreens, Target, Johnson & Johnson, Lowe's, Emerson, 3M, Waste Management, Pepsi, McDonald's, the list goes on and on. There's tons of stocks to be invested in that offer you consistent growth as far as the dividend and also offering you a consistent dividend as far as the dividend. Now, out of all those stocks that I actually mentioned, which ones should you actually go and invest your money in? You can basically choose. You can invest in all of them. You can invest in none of them. You shouldn't take my advice personally for it. You should go and do your own research on a company and figure out which ones you want to invest in. But as you guys know, I make dividend portfolio updates every single month here on the channel. So make sure you check those videos out. And that basically tells you all the stocks that I invest in personally. But like I said, just because I'm invested in something doesn't mean you need to go invest in something. If you do your own research or just generally like a different stock, then go and invest in that stock. Nobody on YouTube, nobody on the internet, nobody anywhere can tell you what you should really invest your money in except for yourself. Do your research and you'll prove to be successful. Currently, my estimated annual income from dividends alone right now as of today basically is 639 dollars every single year basically over 50 dollars every single month 
free money just for simply buying stocks that I was going to buy anyway that I'm invested in companies that I want to be invested in that have the potential to grow on top of me earning these dividends which I can go and take the money out and use that as profits for whatever I want to use it for because it's your money I don't I don't know I don't I don't really see a loss here you know you see what I'm you see what I'm going you see what I'm getting at I don't I don't see a loss either way $639 across all of my portfolios drift is 100% turned on on all of my portfolios so all of that 639 will then get reinvested back into every single stock I received a dividend from aka making me more money on top of more money on top of more money over the course of however long I do it which is basically my entire life because why not it's just passive income I can take it out and use it anytime I want, or I can keep it there and have it grow. This website I'm using on my phone right now is actually called trackyourdividends.com. It's a great free tool that you can use to actually track all your dividends from all your portfolios. I 100% love it. I 100% recommend it, but I've also found a replacement for it, possibly. So a video will be coming soon about that because it's actually, I personally think it's a lot better than this. Either way, they're both free, but this is still a great tool. So definitely check out this tool. I don't, they don't pay me to say that. I don't get anything for you guys signing up, nothing like that. Literally a great tool just for you guys to use. I also wanted to pull up the future value tool with trackyourdividends.com, also 100% free. Either way, if I stopped investing, this is just in my Robinhood portfolio alone right now. If I stopped investing today, I'm getting paid five hundred and eighty three dollars and twenty seven cents in dividends just for this year alone let's go and change that to 25 years let's see what it says then so here we go this is obviously a rough estimate but potentially if i stopped investing today if i just left my robin hood portfolio alone today never touched it again and just kept having the dividends reinvest into each other 25 years from now in 2045 that's seventeen thousand dollars a year in passive income seventeen thousand dollars a year to not do anything $17,000 a year from me having 583 right now and it going to 17 without me ever putting any more money in. Imagine if you did put more money in every single month or every single week, which is what I do, this number is only going to go up. It's possible. It's definitely possible. It's definitely passive income. It might take a little bit of working on your part if you want to be that way, but there are other apps that automate investing for you like M1 Finance. Make sure you check out my M1 Finance videos because it is a little bit different from all the other investing platforms because it's a lot more automated, but it's automated in a great way because you put your money in and that's it. You don't have to worry about buying stocks when you feel like buying them and checking for all these dates and stuff like that. You don't have to do any of that. None of that, all are covered. All you gotta do is put your money in, let it automatically go there and you're all good to go. Either way, check out the M1 Finance app link down below that'll get you i don't know why i pointed up there but link down below that'll get you a free 30 dollars as well so all these links i'm telling you free stuff check it out links down below but either way that's all i got for this video that's dividends for you if you want to know more about dividends definitely let me know in the comment section i can talk about dividends all the time i love talking about dividends i make dividend videos basically twice three times a month now so yeah i just wanted to talk about it again it's really been a while since I feel like I made a solid dividend video telling people why they're so important, why they're such a great tool to use, why you don't need to be some crazy genius to understand it or use it or anything like that. You don't need to trade trade option spreads and do all this crazy stuff to make money. It might be passive, it might be a lot slower, but the money will be made over time. And that's what investing is. You know, you're not here to make money. You can do that, you know, make money, I guess in a day, a day and a half. That's great. People day trade, a lot more risk involved with that. This, a lot less risk, you know, a lot less reward in the sense of you having to wait a lot longer to actually make a lot more money. But you get what you get. It is what it is. And if you invest more, you'll make more. It's that simple in the dividend sense of things. You invest more with day trading, you could lose it all. That's that's how you trade. But you know, it is what it is. I love day trading. I love dividend investing. I love all that. I love all different types of trading. But in this video, we're talking about dividend trading, and that's kind of that. So thank you for watching this video. As always, I'm out. Dollar Mike. Peace. Check out the links down below. Grab yourself some free stuff.